Number 37. A wire carrying a 30 amp current passes between the poles of a strong magnet that is perpendicular to its field and experiences a 2.16 newton force on the four centimeters of wire in the field. What is the average field strength? So anytime you're talking about current, force, you know, length, magnetic field also, right? It says talking about a magnet, then you must be working with this formula, that the force on a current carrying wire is going to be equal to the magnitude of the current multiplied by the length of that current, or in this case, the length of the wire, multiplied by the magnetic field strength, multiplied by the sine of the angle between the magnetic field and the current, all right? So they give us everything that we kind of need to know, okay? They're asking us just keep in mind the average field strength. In other words, anytime they say average field strength, they mean average magnetic field, okay? I don't like that it's not mentioned all the time because you also have something called electric field. And you might say, what field are you talking about, right? Because there's an electric field also created inside of a magnet too. So, you know, in any case, yeah, you know, you have to interpret that, uh, you have to be a mind reader, basically. So what, in order to solve this for beta, I don't beta, it's B. Oh boy, early morning, early morning. Simply divide out these terms then, right, from both sides. Look, do a little, little cross a right? A little cross a there. And there's your formula. So what's the force? 2.16. What's the uh, current? They told you 30. What's the length? Four centimeters. You know we need that in meters. So simply multiply that by 10 to the minus 2 or move the decimal two places to the left. And then what's the angle? Well, they told you perpendicular, so it's 90. And just take out that handy dandy calculator. Go to town. 2.16 divided now by parentheses 30 times 0.04. And I did 30 minus 0.04. So 2.16 divided by 30 times 0.04. See, when we rush, we all make silly mistakes, all of us. So 1.08 and the units for magnetic field are Tesla, okay? Or Tesla, depending upon how you want to pronounce it. Tesla, Tesla. And not the car, by the way. Not the car, the scientist. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Take care.